Hey, sorry I'm kind of raging tired this evening. Let me uh, zoom out here a little bit. There we go. Um, sometimes I'll say something that to me is just so obvious and uh, I'll actually get shocked once in a rare while that uh, somebody else is shocked. And I, I don't mean language or anything like that, but I mean uh, I made a comment yesterday in a, uh, a video that, uh, you know, your hot shoe is not meant for speed light use, and well, that's not exactly true, but I, I forget the exact comment, but I, I said that well, everybody sees photojournalists and uh, paparazzis are taking pictures of the president, or they're chasing down Angelina Jolie, and they got a nice camera, and they've got a nice speed light mounted on top of uh, another Nikon or Canon. Hold on a second, let me turn up the modeling illumination, it's a little dark in here. There we go. I love these little cyber commanders. Pulsy buff is just so simple. Um, point being is that uh, you know if you don't want to go for a pocket wizard, you know just consider this is the philosophy. I mean, uh, if I ever see something with an expensive camera, a really nice camera, and a gigantic speed light sitting on top of it, I mean it is convenient, obviously so. And uh, sometimes you don't have a second pair of hands, and you're not hauling around a tripod. Uh, or an uh, uh, additional amount, uh, additional amount for your speed light. The point being is that consider your speed light not meant, your hot shoe not meant for speed light use. I mean, if you've ever seen anybody in a studio that's taken wonderful shots, um, you'll find a remote trigger sitting on top of their camera. Well, you'll find a pocket wizard, or as I've mentioned before, one of the cheapest options like an SC29 flash cable. Point being is that angle of incidence equals angle of reflection, and some of the most heinous light imaginable is a nice expensive speed light sitting on top of your nice expensive DSLR camera, uh, taking shots like you know I don't know why these aren't turning out right. <laughs> you know, obviously you're not doing studio photography when you're out you know doing fill flash on location or taking pictures of, uh, you know, someone at the end of a pier or something, you know, there's only so much gear you could haul around with you, but a remote trigger is really small, and if you could actually invest uh, in a remote trigger, the best one would be the Pocket Wizard 3, um, some of the really cheap, uh, chintzy Chinese knockoffs that are unreliable and don't last that long, are certainly an option, I'm not one about spending money, however, a pair of Pocket Wizards will run you 150 bucks. $250, excuse me, hundred and a quarter a piece, uh, 250 for a pair. Um, but it really is one of the best investments that you can make. And uh, just the next time you're watching a video that you downloaded or taking a look at uh, someone shooting in a studio setting, just notice that if there is a speed light or it's a pop-up flash used on their camera, it is being used in commander mode to uh, set off uh, additional speed lights around the product or the model. It is not being used uh, as a flash illumination. Um, it's just not. Uh, anyway, the whole premise of this uh, video was uh, that your hot shoe, as far as getting professional results, is not meant for speed light use. I mean, speed light use is there for convenience, for photojournalism, for paparazzis. It's, it is extremely convenient, but, you know, <laughs> it's it's a place where pros stick a remote trigger and then uh, use one of those suckers. <laughs> I, I just, I had to make this video because I got all these startled comments yesterday when I made the comment that your hot shoe is not for speed light. And I'm like, oh, it's like I'm shocked that other people are shocked. But maybe I didn't, was not looking at it from your perspective and that you should not consider your hot shoe on your DSLR for speed light use. Um, unless it's absolutely necessary for obvious reasons. Just get, you know, this is all gets back to the point of got to get your flash off your camera. You know, that harsh uh, direct light out and direct light back into the lens. It's just, it ain't no good, baby. It ain't no good. Light is everything. And uh, if you can't capture it from sunrise to sunset, then you're making it. But when you're making it by sticking a speed light on top of your DSLR, it is the same thing as shooting a gorgeous model on the beach at high noon. The light is awful. You'll make a gorgeous woman look like a dog. Woof, 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 woof. 
and <laughs> the pictures won't be good. So my point is, you know, invest in a pocket wizard. You know, it, it depends on how far you want to take your photography. Some of you are like, well, no, I don't give a crap. You know, I'm, I'm doing this for fun. You know, you've helped me something. You know, I don't need to throw more money away. And I'm not about throwing more money away. But as you very well know, everything in photography is about light. And the speed light sitting on top of your DSLR uh, ain't a good idea unless you're going to become a uh, photojournalist or a paparazzi. Otherwise, eh, sitting up there, it sucks. <laughs> This is what happens when you get really, really tired and you start sounding goofy or drunk. Or so. I don't drink, so I'm not drunk or anything, okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, obviously, I repeated myself too many times. To me, this was humorous, but it's a sort of dry humor that some people don't get, I guess. <laughs> Catch you later.